Hey hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and welcome to episode 31 of the Choking Hazard podcast with just us, just me and my co-host Sugarfree Noss over there. Hello, hello, hello. RDT down there. Hey, what's up gamers, Kanye2020. Oh. As, as, as <laughs> always, RDT leaves like three minutes before the, uh, the start of the stream and then doesn't come back. I, I've already started the stream and the podcast when he is not on the screen yet and he just so happens that he's able to get here on time it's i don't know how you do it one of these days i'm sure we've had one podcast where you've not been here for the start hey man i, I, I you know i'm perfect that's it i'm oh, a <laughs> faultless human being so okay. <laughs> wow faultless that's pretty faultless as i put poison into my mouth <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I'm feeling really. Well, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it for our first topic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I'm like feeling really chill today, to be honest. Like I've not felt yeah. this this chill for a podcast before. I'm just I'm just sort of relaxed and whatever happens happens, you know. I got back home from Philly two hours ago. I'm, you know, a little bit hungover, but I'm I'm good. You know? how, how much percent? Like like ten percent, twenty percent? When I woke 5%. up, it was like fifty. Now I'm now I'm probably down to like a, a good ten, fifteen. You know, I could okay. I could do things. I could be productive. You can function. You, you, yeah. you, you can function. Okay. You know, I'm not a total waste of space. <laughs> so, yeah. Loopy in the chat says is the first topic the crew two. Well, it was gonna <laughs> no, be. That's, yeah. uh, that's Nos wanted it to be. Um, and then I got convinced otherwise. Yeah, yeah. We gotta um, get something out of the way first. Yeah, but, we, our yeah. first topic we want to pay our respects to Total Biscuit, who since yeah. the the previous podcast has unfortunately passed away, succumbed to the cancer that uh, he had for a long time and on and off and whatnot. Yeah. I never really sort of followed it majorly. I followed his channel that much, to be honest. I just every so often I'd watch one of his videos where he was complaining about various things uh which is he did more than complain though yeah he did yeah. he did much more than complain he there there are a lot of a lot of games that i wouldn't have known about uh without his influence so yeah. uh you know it's, it's not i don't think it's really right to just chalk him up to his uh his uh persona of complaining about frame rates you know he did a lot more than that yeah that's true i mean he, he had a incredibly large channel based off of what he did and he did some good stuff for so long as well you know um well he had yeah. an incredibly large influence on other content creators as well um i know he had a pretty big influence on me uh because i, I watched him back in like 2012 to like b back when i was on 360 and uh you know at the time you know i was just uh, you know played on console video games or video games and you know watching his content makes you look at video games in a different way you start to look at them as more of a of a product and you know me being on console having no options and i could see you know hmm games do look better when you have a wider fov and hmm, games do look better when they are at a higher frame rate you know so uh he's the reason i became a pc gamer actually I, his content mm -hmm. was the first pc gaming content that i had ever watched and that is what uh got me into pc gaming and i wouldn't you know if i didn't do that i probably would have bought an xbox one and you know who who knows where i would have been there probably just me and rdt alone on the platform you know <laughs> and playing games so so, so he but, turned you into this salty pc master race scumbag i'm not that you are salty now. okay look it's just You're games. Not salty. <laughs> the game should run at 60 oh frames per more. All right, all right. Don't, don't, taint, don't taint this moment with that. Okay, I'm not tainting it. Look, I'm standing up for his values, okay? Look. So. Uh, yeah, I didn't uh, watch any of his content. Uh, the only thing I did see of him was when he was on the H3H3 podcast talking about what he was going through, and I thought he was very insightful and very inspirational with his kind of just always keep fighting. You got to have the will to keep going and yeah, he's very for better for worse. On that uh, show, I, I mean, I thought that was a great message. Um, and it was a little bit disappointing to see some people's reactions to it. Like the some people, people that, 
worked for uh, worked on Mass Effect, which he we don't had... even give them. We're not talking yeah. about them. They don't even deserve yeah. to be talked about. Uh, all right, yeah. It was, well, you know, I it's, think it's 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 worth berating them. We don't have to say any names no, or anything. No, but... they they are so insignificant that they are not worth mentioning. Yeah, okay. someone that who who would do that over over someone's negative opinions on the game after they had passed, they are not significant enough to be mentioned. So yeah, we're not going to talk about them. Yeah, they uh, yeah, that was that was tough, and I feel for his family, and he uh, had a huge impact. I mean, we. As Hammer was pointing out beforehand, we probably had copied the style of his podcast and are direct descendants of that style and what we do now. So sitting here, so we thank him for that. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess yeah. I mean, like like I said, I know that I I probably wouldn't be uh, sitting in an office with two fantastic PCs. I mean, every everything could be traced back. Uh, to my decision to get into PC gaming, everything that I I have in terms of you know luxury items, and if Total Biscuits content wouldn't have uh, persuaded me into going in that direction, you know where would I be? So in in a way, uh, I can trace everything that I have had happen to me back to his content, which is uh, everything very special. Well, everything in terms of of this is why gaming beard. of ga- yes, he is the he is the reason. <laughs> uh, but everything in terms of gaming and Beard luxury items related to gaming. So, uh, I'll, I'll explain my little story from my experience of Total Biscuit. Uh, when I started thinking about making YouTube videos, I tweeted out about this, I think, on the, when he, he actually passed. But um, I, I was kind of... I'd wanted to make YouTube videos for a while, I think, and I'd I'd, up, I'd had those videos uploaded that I did in like 2008, 2006, or whatever it was. They just the gaming stuff that was really random, and I was like, oh, I've I'd watched commentaries at that point, and I was thinking, I might, I would love to do that. That seems like so much fun, and I was like, but no one would want to listen to someone from the northeast of England. I mean, come on, like my voice is just terrible. Who would want to listen to that? <laughs> and I still believe that. I can't believe people want to you know, listen to my videos in the first place even now. But then I came across one of Total Biscuit's videos. And I found the fact that he was just, he was out there. He was a, a big deal. He had a big YouTube channel. And he's from the northeast of England. He was from sort of where he uh, was born and grew up was, I think, say, say like half an hour from where I was born. So, you know, from the same neck of the woods. And it made me think, okay, well, I mean... He he's got a similar voice to me. Maybe I can do it as well. And then I thought, okay, I'll do it. That was one of the many things that made me finally push that barrier and start making videos. But he was part of that, so yeah. Even there we go. I mean, see, see what that. what is the likelihood that on the show that one man could have been the starting point for both of our content? The you know, that, that just that speaks to his his influence, influence yeah. that he had. Uh, while he was making content, it's just I'm, his his influence is so big. You could talk to any you know so many people in the gaming community, and Total Biscuit had an influence on the way yeah. they make content or the way they do things, or at the very least, they just enjoyed his content. You know, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's amazing. If, if that's true, bro, which I have no reason to doubt the validity of that story, that <laughs> would mean that we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Total Biscuit. We wouldn't exactly. be sitting here doing that yeah, because. Maybe. Of, no, uh, definitely, because you wouldn't be testing GTA cars, and you wouldn't have built this community around GTA, and then we wouldn't have ever met. Yeah, I guess. Although, you know, it was one of many aspects that was holding me back from no, making videos. Was, Maybe I would have gotten over it. No, no, Total Biscuit only, was the... Okay, it was Total literally Biscuit. John okay. Bain. John yes, that was it. it all. Yes. Just <laughs> one reason, one man. Man. Well, we're we're not trying to give him all the credit here. We're just saying <laughs> he, he is a very important important influence on uh, many content creators, and that's uh, we shall he important. shall be missed. Let's say that. Yes, yeah. absolutely. All right. Uh, nice. I highly recommend watching the uh, the memorial episode of the uh, Co-optional podcast as well. Mm. Went up a couple a uh, couple days ago on uh, his YouTube, so uh, I definitely recommend uh, watching that. It was a very good episode. Okay. Right, so right, no, in, I feel sad. like I feel like in his uh, in his honor, I guess we could say we're gonna move on to the crew too. Yes, yeah, so let's and critique f- a video. Yeah, game. and I yeah, feel like Nos. Crit- I think Nos has some pretty 
specific thoughts about it. Um, I played it this morning on stream, mm-hmm. um, and I, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I haven't formed any opinions to be honest yet. I'm going to see how well, this conversation how about, goes. How about could we just start off with a clip that I have, by the way, just to kind of, because I think this clip really sums up the game, in in essence. Have okay. You, you, it's it's in the choke yeah, chat. I, I, I have it. Um, so if, we this bit just, of... if we could just show How this clip. have you tried out the crew to the beta at this point? Nah. Nah. Um... I watched, uh, or I played a little bit of the first one. Didn't like it that much. Okay. All right, let's have a look at this clip. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is yeah, using some a wheel. guy. Yeah, yeah, this is my yeah, wheel setup, right. if anyone's ever wondered how I play uh, wheel streams. Okay. I can't imagine what this game would be like with a wheel, honestly. It's not great. rubber banding is too much. The rubber, really like. and you're complaining about rubber banding. Yes, and then... I like the wall rides for doing it. Is that, that actually wet? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this game's so such a this, joke. I think this clip really sums up the racing experience you're going to get oh from this video game. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. You just killed that woman? <laughs> I think so, yes. into that one. But uh, I like that, your, your, that, you just you, you couldn't you, your laughing I'm was dead. too much yeah. at that moment. It was so ridiculous. I, I just could not believe that the game let me do that. Like like this like running had not over people. Jesus, it's it's well, really just... it's really funny because I I tried the wall ride as well. That was one of the first thoughts to do during the game, and it was quicker and easier to do than just drive normally. <laughs> Because of course it is. It, yeah, it's just like it's just such. A, I, I don't understand how so many racing games cannot learn from the previous racing game. Like, why can't we just learn from our mistakes? I mean, no, wall riding is bad. Okay, it is not good, but the game is bad. The game is very bad. Um, All right. The handling model is bad. Uh, <laughs> Sugar-free nos has become extra salt nos. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just really bad. I mean, the game. I will say that the game looks good. It doesn't look amazing. It looks good, and the world. Um, I mean, the crew has always been about this huge open world uh, to explore, and that's its strength. And I think that that will continue to be its strength. But uh, when you have I a handling model, about, like, it's a legacy game. Like the crew's always been about this. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> I mean, the first crew, decades. Of iteration. The only redeeming quality of the crew was its map, and now uh, we're in the crew too. And lo and behold, the only redeeming quality about the entire video game is its map. So, uh, you know, I, I will say that the car selection seems pretty good, and the, and the customization seems pretty good. But when you have a handling model that is just purely not fun and so arcadey, it is insulting. Uh, it, it just it's it's not going to be good. It's not going to be the racing experience I want. So, uh, yeah. The thing is, from when I played it, I thought I, I, it was tough for me to try to f- try to talk about an opinion that I had because I didn't really form one. And by the end of playing it, I was kind of just like, meh. Like, it's yeah. just another game that it's trying to be play. better than yeah. what it is, I guess. You know, it's like, yes, the the world was, the, the world, the, the map itself is the most amazing you know part of the entire thing that to have if you can imagine a map like that in gta with 10 12 different cities and all these little towns in between and racing circuits dotted about and things like that it would be incredible but as soon as you got into the, as soon as i got into the city at least i looked at the buildings and they were like so the textures were so low quality and yeah the, the car for, for all the good that's in the cars and the customization and how good they look it's just as bad for the world itself. It's like um, the, the phrase, deep wide as an ocean, but shallow as a deep as a puddle, whatever it is, the phrase. It, that seems to be yeah. being applicable to so many games now, including yeah. the I crew I think Total too. Biscuit used that to describe Skyrim Yeah, uh, when he gave his opinion on Skyrim. And no Man's Sky and, and uh, what's the pirate one? Sea of Thieves, like all the same yeah. sort of stuff. <laughs> What? <laughs> the, the game is trash. It's just <laughs> hot garbage. Oh, wow, we got yeah. finally we got our I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you if you play with friends, it can be fun. Like you just 
the best part about the game is getting hammered. And that is probably, (laughs) I might be biased, but still, that is definitely the best part. And, uh, yeah, and crashing into other people's boats. It's definitely not about being a pirate. But back to the crew. (laughs) But it seems like most games that are trying to now be this live service thing are doing the same sort of thing, where every single, single thing is... Oh, it's more fun with friends, but on your own, it's just it's not that fun. Like, I couldn't imagine yeah. playing the crew, too, for very long. Like, yeah, and people were saying, oh, it's more fun with a lot of people, like, with friends, but then... Um, well, what are you going to do with your friends, though? Yeah. Like, I mean, drift. And you have... You can only get eight people into a session at any yeah, one that's, moment that's, that's, that on this huge map. That's, it's insulting. <laughs> um and like you're gonna get you can only invite three of your friends or something so you can only be a group of four at any one moment so like it's i don't know it's just there's some good points about it but there's so many negative points about it as well and the handling physics are in most games to me these days is no good and i also, feel like we does don't anyone give... care about boats or planes does anybody anybody does anyone like boats or planes in your I mean, in your racing game well the developers uh, of the game certainly did <laughs> It's so dumb. It's like, why would you even spend time on that? The the, the plane physics are not good. Uh, the boat physics, well, everything handles like a boat, so I don't want to drive a boat. Um, the um, the, the, I noticed on one point when I was trying to, I was uh, put into the task of doing a, a um, like where where you tilt the plane ninety degrees and fly that way for a, a little flight. bit. Knife flight. There we go. Um, and I was holding. I think it's R1 to sort of, you know, uh, bring the rudder to the side so the yaw is keeping you level. And then I noticed that yeah. the game was doing it itself. <laughs> so I didn't need to do that. So like, it was just little things yeah, like that. It's, it's kind of, it, it is a very, it's very much a mainstream oriented game, I think. It's so, it's even worse than Forza Horizon 3. I mean, and, and Forza Horizon 3 was a casual game. Mm. Um, so... I will say that it's nice that uh, there doesn't seem to be an over-focus on off-road like there was in Forza Horizon 3. Hmm. Um, like, not every area that is off the road is designed for you to drive off-road like in Forza Horizon 3. Like, sometimes a forest just needs to be a forest. Okay? <laughs> yeah. it, it does not have to be, you know, a off-road place. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was to, my main problem. To me, the game just felt 3. like a, a bigger version of need for speed that totally didn't catch my attention either because of the arcadey physics and just yeah. nonsense and and it's just the same thing again and i think we don't necessarily give as, as for as all for all the problems that we talk about with gta we don't give it enough credit for what the things the that physics. it does right and the physics yeah. are very yeah. very good for it's the perfect balance yeah. between a easy to access arcade driving experience but hard to master at the same time and it does it very well and these arcade racing games don't really do that i don't no. think so yeah let's let's talk about laguna seca <laughs> huh i i i specifically skip because I, I skipped forward in your stream that like okay what do you do and i, I skipped forward and he was like okay this world i mean it's just too big i've got to drive for like 45 minutes to get those tracks i was like <laughs> I know where he's going because I did the same thing and I skipped forward a few more minutes and then you're at Laguna Seca and you're like, wait, is this a little wide? <laughs> <laughs> the track is like two semi truck lengths wide. It's ridiculous. It, the, the, really? It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. It's kind of like they've put Laguna Se- they've, they've doubled the width of the track everywhere. The corkscrew yeah. is now just a quick <laughs> chicane that you can take at full solid. speed. Oh, I went through it. Full speed. I, just, I just whoop, went right through there. Yeah, you can they, just. Pull. They just looked at Laguna Seca from the top down. They're like, just do that. Hold Basically, on, I think yeah. I, hold on. pretty I much. <laughs> and, and I just yeah, let me. What what gets me is for the same re- it, it, the same reason that real world tracks don't work in GTA is because you can never create a like for like comparison. You know, any any track that tries yeah. to copy the layout of a real world track in GTA and the creator. It never works because you just can't get that level of accuracy and detail for what you need for it to be a real world track. And you're constantly thinking about the real world version of the track when you're going around it and it can never live up to that. And it's the same thing here. Like, it's okay to have a track that's inspired by something. 
in GTA content creators say and name it something similar like I am the North Loop was inspired by the Nodge Lifer for me and this felt like yeah you could say that this track was kind of inspired by Laguna Seca and maybe they should have called it something else like related to Laguna Seca but clearly like how GTA cars are they're not, they're not the actual real names of cars but they're a parody and you could have had that and it would have been it would have been easier to take at least but to call it Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca and to <laughs> see it, <laughs> it was yeah. just... Uh, I was put weird. a clip, by the way, if you would like to uh, give the viewers a taste of how wide it is for the podcast, just to, you know, I, it's a little self promoty but, you know... For the Vigia you've Virgin. Been, you've been very self promoty on the clips today. Yeah, yeah man. Well, well, look, only yes. two of us here have played the crew, too, and I, you're not going to fish up video evidence of this track being... Eight got, car lengths wide. I've so. got clips too, you know, on my Twitch channel. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, also, let me add that <laughs> snow can happen anywhere on the map, so I'm at I'm at Laguna Seca in the snow. Yeah, I didn't, I, 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 I didn't experience snow. That is so wide. It's so, like, if any, I mean, Bruh. this is, and the, the, I like, <laughs> I did that, I did that exact same thing on that exact same <laughs> sign. <laughs> I did the exact same thing coming up to the corkscrew on the sign and you're expecting it to fought, knock over or something but no it's absolutely solid um, oh, that's funny uh, but yeah the corkscrew is basically just a fast full speed chicane at this point um, yeah with some slight elevation change yeah. <laughs> but well, let me just put your head on your steering wheel yeah. like, I think some of I'm the done. things about the crew they <laughs> yeah. look good like they, 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 there's some like the, the actual some of the graphical fidelity of certain things is really good but then most it's of it just is such not. a mixed bag i mean yeah. that's what's going to happen when you have a world that big that's it and it's like it's more quantity over quality i feel with the crew team yes. and all i'm all i'm pl think all i was thinking when i was playing it is i would i would love to have this kind of thing in gta or yeah. like you know the, the the a world that was this kind of size, or at least bigger than what we have now in GTA, can you imagine? And mm -hmm. the customization and the cars of that this has, but in GTA, because the game itself, the Crew Two, doesn't doesn't do enough on its own to make me want to go back to it. It was just kind of, and then I was like, meh. I'm not going to revisit Did it. Did you uh, experience any other cars other than the uh, ND that you get off the start? Uh, no. You did choose the ND, didn't you? The what? Uh, the MX-5? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Did you uh, did you drive any other cars? Um, I did the I drove the off road vehicle, a few off road vehicles. Um, but that uh, was pretty much it. I didn't drive any regular road vehicles or anything. I I bought I actually that race I was wall riding on I grinded a little bit so I could get some money, <laughs> and uh, I bought I bought the drift uh, Dorito powered car. I bought the RX-7, the the drift version. I mean, the drifting was kind of fun. It was so Dorito easy. You know? what? Did you not know that the RX-7s are powered by triangles? You need to look this up. It's it's true. I, They're I, powered by triangles. I'm trying to say it's Illuminati. No, well, possibly, but it's powered look it by up. triangles. Doritos are RX owned by the Illuminati. Doritos. I'm, I'm, if only, if only uh, someone was here to put the, uh, the copy pasta in the chat. But uh, yes, yeah, rotary engine. They're powered by triangles. Oh, there rotary engine. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, so uh, final uh, final word. The crew two is awful. Not good. We're flying through these good. topics right now. Crew two. <laughs> I wouldn't crew say certified. Awful. certified garbage. I don't That's say that it was on. awful, but it's not well, something that I would. Yeah. <laughs> I'm constantly comparing everything to GTAs because everything's wanting to be a big live service and a main game that takes up all your time and all your money. So GTA is that for me. And I constantly compare everything that I might replace that with to GTA and none of it is able to give me everything that GTA does. It kind of falls short yeah, be always. be careful. I, I tried to do that Forza Horizon 3 and uh, I ended up losing $100 and... Uh, <laughs> 100 hours of my life just spinning a wheel um, yeah that's so. it like you gotta be you know games and uh, like, I, yeah anyway not not the best 
No, You'll have some fun with it if you buy it, but I wouldn't necessarily yeah, if you recommend it. you're the most it. extreme casual gamer that I could ever think of, like you play video games once a week on your Xbox One, uh, you, hey, you would hey, probably have a good hey. time. <laughs> you. If you're I was RDT, ask you to do something. Now I'm not going to ask you to do something. Now can you uh, can you do something for me? Can you just say that the uh, it's powered by triangles again? Just just real quick. It's powered by triangles. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so next topic, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, next topic. <laughs> next topic. Next topic. This has been a kind of uh, uh, game. We 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 brought in a gaming news segment, and we've decided to just go gaming news for the entire podcast. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe yeah. I can get a decent uh, title out of it, you know, and, and bring people in. <laughs> but Blue Hole Entertainment. Oh, Yo, let's get messy. Yeah. I love RDT it. can it can talk about Yo. this. You can you can take this away, RDT. You can explain this... what's happened with these guys. PUBG Core is that <laughs> corporation? Is that the name of it? I don't I even know what they're calling themselves. Blue hole, blue balls, as <laughs> uh, Netrex calls them. Apparently, that's what he calls them, according to the chat. Uh, they're straight up losing the battle royale between Fortnite and PUBG, they're like, damn, we're we're charging thirty dollars for trash. People are just <laughs> buying digital PUBG garbage. Is trash, by the way. It is it's, trash. It's especially on Xbox. It's a trash oh on it's not even a video game on Xbox. <laughs> on Xbox. Yeah. You're, you're it's playing a, slide a digital show. slideshow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, um they're like, yeah, what how much garbage can we sell for thirty dollars? All of the garbage? Cool. We're gonna do that. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fortnite slides under the radar, says, Hey, we have a better game. We have a fun game. Uh it's it runs better than PUBG. It it's cooler and uh guess what? It's free, bitches. And everyone plays Fortnite. Drake plays Fortnite, but he's dead because Push It T murdered him with that diss track, jumping off topic. Anyway, Blue Hole <laughs> suing epic games who made gears of war and fortnite because they're doing better than them and they're hating on success and they're they they want to run the battle royale game and they're just gonna get laughed out of court because they're little babies i was gonna say some mean things but what <laughs> now yeah i so, fully agree with rdt terrible idea why it's would you insane. do this i can't even imagine what's going through their minds like is it uh, we we need I, I've the like the things I've seen we need this we need to go deeper like the makers of Minecraft Hunger Games need to sue PUBG and then the makers of Hunger Games need to, to sue <laughs> yeah. Minecraft Hunger Games and the Game makers, makers of Battle Royale need to sue yeah. Hunger Games and like the it's Roman like... Coliseum needs to come back and <laughs> yeah yeah the Romans <laughs> need to need to sue. hey hey <laughs> they're suing they're suing Epic. Of a copying the battle royale genre when they didn't in, they didn't at all invent battle royale games themselves in the first place, and a lot of the stuff that's in PUBG is just assets that they've taken from the Unreal Store, which is Epic's engine in the first place. <laughs> like, yeah, it's great, isn't it's, it? It's it's unbelievable. Bro. I, 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 just, hand. I saw a comment, I think, on Reddit, and I hope what happens is they lose the lawsuit and have their Unreal Engine license revoked so the game <laughs> yeah. dies. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Oh, it's just... Well, Jesus. The, so the one thing that you've you've also got to take into account is that the, the lawsuit is happening in Korea. It's not yeah, the lawsuit's happening, which is where... Um, is not where Blue Hole is originating from, it's the indeed. company that... Yeah. It's indeed. So they may be using it to set precedents for a forthcoming American suit, but we'll see. I, I can't. I can't even. If if anything happens other than it gets completely thrown out of court and laughed at, I'm going to be very disappointed and annoyed. But the negative yeah, publicity about it, even that, surely it, on its own is, is not worth... The, it's like, instead of improving the game and spending money to make it better, we're going to spend money to sue a company that's doing a better job than we are. Like, yeah. It's just so stupid. Yeah, that's not a smart move. And but honestly, anything can happen nowadays. That Count Dankula got arrested because he taught a pug how to do something naughty. And who knows? You might anything have to, uh, to speed on that one. You don't know Count Dank? You don't know about that? No. no. What? Wow. What? There's a there's a YouTuber who 
You really haven't heard about this? No. I mean, I, I, he wasn't he back then a like a pretty small YouTuber. Like, yeah, he's he only a, grown he like a since this. Yeah, it was just a random guy who posted videos. He, he's just else. a random guy. His girlfriend loved her pug so much she thought it was the cutest thing in the world. So, uh, I don't want to get in trouble for saying this, but this is in context. He he taught the dog had to do the Roman salute that the Nazis would do, you know, this, the, the, uh, no, you can't get uh, trouble for that. quotation oh. marks, quotation marks, the Sieg Heil. That's what they, yeah. not me. Do not <laughs> look. That's okay, not me. Demonetized <laughs> podcast. Okay. Chicken, my <laughs> channel is removed. I need to make sure. <laughs> look, I said the C word on the, on the last episode. Yes. So we're I'm, getting I'm into sure we're interesting territory. The last few episodes. <laughs> yeah. We, whew, yeah. He didn't and, say uh, the C word though, not the C word. It was a different no, C the, word. No, the worst. <laughs> one. I, I, that's the, I said the worst one. He did the racist one. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, he taught the pug how to do that, and he posted on YouTube. He's like, I. She thinks it's the cutest thing, and so I turned it into the least cute thing I could think of, which is a Nazi. And so people were like, "This is a hate crime," and he got su- <laughs> he got arrested, and he got. Find like 300 euro or something or 300 pounds because you're in freaking uk and you guys have oh, that's system. like five bucks that's i mean that's not too bad that's, that's <laughs> monopoly money <laughs> and he got he, he got like a jail time jail sentence for it yeah i think yeah. so but yeah, i think yeah. he got out of that I don't think um he... there, I, I think he's like properly going after it now and appealing and putting together a proper appeal to get everything removed to because the president he doesn't agree with the president that was set by this but he's basically a, a trying to, you know, he's a comedian, and he was trying to do Amen. something funny, and uh, some judge decided that it was actually, uh, you know, whatever it was, not very funny. Yeah. Well, no matter <laughs> what the context. Yeah, context well, no, it doesn't matter. Supposedly, yeah. the the law says this... that a judge can completely remove the idea of context for a decision like this, and that's what that judge decided to do. So the the law that's in place is correct there shouldn't be but there 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 is free speech up until a point in the uk up until the point where you become a twat um where's my if, american flag if where, 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 yeah america. i might have to go for the hat here up to the point the point there's never a point okay america the beautiful the red white and blue say whatever you want <laughs> you can't offend me unless i go to a liberal arts college and i have my art degree and then some conservative comes to speak and i'll just go and boycott it except i won't boycott i'll go to it and, 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 yell and then over i them. tell them where my degree is from and then they ask me what restaurant do i work at and then i get really upset you know <laughs> i go to uc berkeley all right damn yeah anyway <laughs> freedom uh, i think i think it's a, a fair point that like yeah free speech should be a protected thing but it doesn't mean to say that there aren't consequences of your actions like people people seem to expect these days that they're allowed to say what they want and any consequences that come from that like they lose their job or whatever it's like but i was just it was just free speech i was just exercising my right to say my own opinions and it's like yeah you can say what you want but you have to accept that not everyone might think that way and consequences might happen (laughs) but to 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 me the the whole idea that this guy got any kind of punishment for this was just ridiculous because i mean it was it was it really wasn't anything that deserved jail time let alone a fine you know so either way anyway anyway what was the point of that how did we get talking about (laughs) oh yeah we were talking about how blue hole is suing and i said that anything could happen they could yeah yeah that's true any yeah anything could happen they could win, and then they suddenly all battle royale games have to shut down, and PUBG is the only one in all suddenly, of existence. Suddenly, anytime yeah. you use the words battle or royale, you have Boom. to pay two hundred dollar fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Um, so that was interesting. Terrible move. Awful. Yeah. Um, yeah I hope. Stupid. I Very really, stupid. honestly, I, as much as I, I, I mean, I've never played either PUBG or Fortnite, and I'm not too interested in doing it. I don't recommend it. But it. I don't recommend it. As, as much as people enjoy PUBG. I kind of hope that it bites them in the ass because I think they're just being ridiculous and yeah. Ooh, that's a ooh. <laughs> um, I, just, I just saw a topic that we got to talk about. 
okay. uh, later. But anyway, go ahead. Next topic. Next topic. Uh, <laughs> Why are we announcing them like this? Well, this we've never done this, have we? Yeah, our <laughs> segues like aren't on point episode. this time. We had we've had there, a few good no weeks segues, of segues. All right, but we've hit the ten minute mark for that conversation. <laughs> yeah. Now let us uh, move on to the next part of our it- itinerary. Let's go. <laughs> it's um, called a segue, no? <laughs> <laughs> what? Look, if segways are pointless okay they're, they're dated technology all right the only Who purpose rides segways have, anymore the only purpose that has ever served is being a uh prop in arrested development okay for joke that's it it's the only and, and paul blart mall cop yes and paul blart mall cop. <laughs> damn next topic cinema gold okay <laughs> fine thank you fallout 76 <laughs> and it's been. Yep. I mean, I'm genuinely not interested in Fallout yeah, you games. You don't care. This is a this is a me and RDT topic. RDT. Yeah. Can we get Can we get excited about this? Are you excited? It's like a survival game, isn't it? Uh, well, that's the rumors, but I mean, all we have to go for officially is the trailer. So, like, which I did not watch, but no, oh, but you haven't watched. Are you serious? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, yeah. but. You know, I'm down for Fallout. I, I like Fallout. I'm down for it, but I can't get excited after Fallout 4. Just Fallout 4 was such a disappointment to me. That I, I just, bought Fallout 4. Get... It was my first experience of a Fallout game, and I um, got a refund for it on Steam because I just wasn't enjoying it at all. I just I like Fallout 4. Sorry. Um, I mean, it was okay. It, I mean, it wasn't the fall. It was it was the Fallout experience I wanted. Yeah. Oh, terrible story. Fun oh, game. Yeah, awful story. Awful dialogue choices. You have yes, 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 and yes. As your dialogue characters. choices. You know. The Preston. only the only semi interesting character in Fallout 4 you kill within two hours of the game if you follow the main quest line. Kellogg? Like, yeah, Kellogg is the only reasonably interesting. Spoiler alert character. if you haven't played it yet. <laughs> no one yeah, yeah. I mean, you mean to tell me that the guy who kidnaps your son, you capture him and kill him? I I'm, I'm so spoiled. That's nuts. That's crazy. Um, My, but... I have a funny story about that, actually. You know how when you take uh, substances in the game, like it alters your when you're skipping the uh, dialogue? Like usually when you're doing dialogue and you skip through it, he's like, yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Next. Yeah. <laughs> so my one buddy created a melee character who was just a drug addict I know extreme where this is going. drug yeah, addict psycho. extreme little psycho, psycho yeah. he got super drunk and he went to go meet kellogg and <laughs> and he was like I, I don't know where your son is and as he's skipping through he was like you, you're telling me brother and he's like be all buddy buddy with him he's like i didn't That's kill your i didn't kill your son he's like oh yes sir and then he just fucking killed him in one swipe and we, me and my other roommate jerry that were really ruined. surprised Anyway, <laughs> Fallout 4, decent video game, uh, not a good Fallout game. Fallout 76, uh, I can't get excited for it. I, I love Fallout so much. I love the lore. I, I know a lot about the lore. I really do love it, and I just can't get excited for it. It breaks my heart. Uh, I don't really like survival, like tower defense building games kind of. Like well, I mean, we like I said, we still don't officially know what it's going to be. It seems there's been a yeah. lot of hate uh, from Fallout fans. Uh, and the guy who mentioned the rumors and and what it's going to be like it's like yeah well, it's going to be it's, it's going to be a different rpg online type experience and everybody's like no <laughs> it's this is your fault for spreading the message we will attack you yeah I mean, well the um it's different because it's set like 30 years after the great war it's like 21 something like that um and so that's like much sooner after the war than any Fallout game has ever been set, I think. From what I've so, heard, seventy six wasn't it the first vault to be opened after, after the bomb. It, yeah, well, it was. It was that's scheduled to be. Uh, it was one of the control vaults. Seventy. It. it uh, I think there's a terminal entry in Fallout Three that talks about it was one of the control vaults because you know in the game all of the vaults were like a social experiment, right? You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, you'd have vaults with one man and two hundred women. Room. Yeah, and you know, stu- and stuff like that. Um, but this was one of the control vaults that there was no experiment, and it opened thirty years after the Great War. So that's kind of the, that's what we've been told so far by the uh, trailer. And I just can't get excited. Oh yeah, and you can't. We can't leave out the fact that they streamed on Twitch for twenty hours with yeah. no content uh, before they <laughs> revealed the trailer. 
as, as Hoopo said earlier, uh, totally against the Twitch terms of service, but Twitch allowed it anyway. They're, yeah, it's the game company. It doesn't matter. <laughs> one rule for one and one rule for the other. Exactly. As we we talked about we, We've already week. talked about this yeah. so many times about Twitch, but, you know, if you needed any more proof. Does it, it's not illegal. <laughs> if you can name that president, I'll give you a dollar. Abraham Lincoln? Yes, that was Abraham Lincoln yes, who said, fantastic. if the president does it, it's not illegal. <laughs> that's 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 what he said when he... Uh... He abolished slavery, and they're like, what yeah, about your slaves? Yeah, exactly. He's like, bruh. Like, <laughs> this my, this get off my back, fam. You know that Noss is expecting that dollar now, right? Yeah, I'm going to need better that send it. Well, it was Richard Nixon who said it, so <laughs> oh, definitely right. not yeah. Abraham Lincoln. Um, Do you mean that one is he did something about the water? Anyway. Go ahead. Yes, through a gate. Yeah, 20 hours of, of a stream to, with no content is pretty bad, to be honest. I mean, why? Like... What rule is it against? There's a specific rule that says that you cannot broadcast unattended content, such as sleeping or no one on screen or something like that. Yeah. So. Which is stupid. I'll give Hoople the dollar. He needs it. <laughs> he, he needs it. Yeah, he spent he spent all his money buying bits for uh, Bruff, as you can see by his badge. So <laughs> he, doesn't any, he doesn't have any more money. We need to give him a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. um, I'm, I'm... Uh, speaking of things that are things, let's things. There you go. <laughs> That's a great. That segue. was a great segue. No, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I, I'm <laughs> kind of. Uh, I'm kind of unsure about this topic because I don't really know too much about it. I don't um, either, but uh, that's never stopped me from talking about a topic <laughs> before. So That's the way I go through life, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a game was removed on Steam recently. Oh. Um, because it revolved around uh, school shootings. The idea being that you, it sure is edgy. Don't you feel edgy, guys? I feel I mean, edgy. I feel you uncomfortable just yet? talking about it. But how could someone create a game where the sole purpose is to go into a school and avoid SWAT teams and all that? And Well, to be, be fair, to be fair, you could play as the other side, too, and stop the thing from happening. So it's not only about that. Obviously, I'm not being... <laughs> that is a, an argument that people had. I am not defending that argument, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the only. Now I do sound like I'm defending it, which I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not defending the senseless murder of children. I'm, I would just I'm staunchly against school shootings. I'm, I'm, but, you know. but yeah, no, that was a dumb idea. And it was probably just to get press. And the person yeah, that made just... it had a history of making kind of bad games. Yeah. And, Oh yeah, and the game was bad. What's not? Bad. I mean, this troubling. was not some kind of beautiful, graphically, f you know, like graphically impressive uh, school shooting. This was yeah. like, you know, Source 1.0 uh, <laughs> school shooting. It was not just the, 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 the being quality, an idiot. the the frame rate and the graphics quality of these school shootings were very low, uh, which contributes. we're dipping in. We're dipping into <laughs> some, some terror. Uh, oh it's almost. I, I can't say. I can't even say any of the jokes that I want to say. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I have a job. I can't do that. <laughs> it uh, almost like it almost me. kind of yeah. A, a, the, the, yeah. A good question is how did it end up on Steam in the first place? You know, but Steam has uh, no yeah. quality control for the, no, the, they the games that end up on there to cesspool these days. But it, it's like it, it makes me wish that it was never spoken about and never discovered, and Steam had just not approved it in the first place. So this idiot who clearly made it just for attention didn't get all of this attention to be honest what was the other game was it i don't know a few years ago what 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 is wrong rdt just typed his joke to us in the joke chat well i didn't say it i don't know whether i want to watch it, I don't oh, know it. this is my joke rdt cannot be held responsible for this but uh, I need my school shootings Xbox One X enhanced, and that's that was that was the joke I'm not that I came up with. Responsible, I'm not the ghostwriter. That is yeah, all. I, nice. I don't. Yeah, I don't have a job, so I can get this man a, a Twitch partner. Get him a yes. partnership now. <laughs> Let's <Please>. go. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, what are we doing? 
Uh, yeah, no, this was a terrible bad. decision. This, this game was made just to be edgy, and it's dumb. Hatred, that was the game. We should probably cut this entire part out. Hatred was the, Hatred the previous was the game. Other game. Yeah, yeah the same sort of thing, was... just created just to cause a, you know, a stare. Yeah. And it's, it's just... just... Just edge for the sake of edge. Yeah. There's no message here. Useless. Um, yeah. I remember when the trailer for that came out. I was a sophomore in college, and one of the kids that was in my dorm was like, it actually looks kind of fun. I was like, I'm not going to live with you ever again. So <laughs> let's go our separate ways and not make eye contact from here on out. <laughs> uh, you know, well, whatever. It's, nah. Idiots being well, idiots. I mean, as, as, as Jim Sterling Mark. pointed out in his, his video, that it, it casts a, a really dull shadow on gaming as well because that's that's whenever there's like a big story that blows up it's always something really embarrassing like yeah, it's, it's always you know killing hookers or uh you know school sh- you know stuff like this you know yeah. that's all that gaming gets covered it's sad so. it really is yeah it's a shame it's like um, how they kind of just throw an entire blanket over youtubers it's always like youtubers promote blah 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 like I, wandering in a Japanese forest, you know. Yeah, I just <laughs> saw uh, uh, Philip DeFranco did a story about how they did like some tests with Zoella and a couple other YouTubers, and they say YouTubers promote unhealthy eating habits with kids. It's like, no, th- these two people that have YouTube accounts do that. Yeah, not YouTubers. Like, I guess you yeah. could say, but oh, it's stupid. People are stupid. So <laughs> am I. But at least I can admit it. Nobody's smart, except for Elon Musk and Kanye West. Kanye West, twenty twenty. No. <laughs> no. It's, it's Speaking not. about, uh, well, I don't want to say people being stupid, but maybe depend that will is the way that the conversation will go by the end of it. The uh, Battlefield Five uh, hoopla oh. and, and whatnot. <laughs> and, the, the, the <sighs> outcry of, women of... Just t- I mean, do we? I mean, I think women just have too much of a place in media these days. I mean, does, does, anyone, does anyone agree? I, I think we need to. You know, they, they just, they're taking our Ghostbusters, they're taking our oceans, and now they're they're taking Battlefield. It's just when are they own. going? When are they going to stop? It's almost as if they want to have you know, like they want to be equal. Like that's ridiculous. Like, what's the deal with people wanting to be equal to other people? Yeah, I know, right? It's just. Um, stupid but are we, are we talking about our thoughts on battlefield 5 or are we going to talk about our thoughts on people being angry that there's a woman like, uh, that a video um, game isn't both? realistic why not i mean i have no real thoughts on battlefield 5 because i don't really like the battlefield games anyway so i have no thoughts well, on that so. judging from the trailer uh battlefield 5 looks like the exact opposite i want from what this game what i wanted the game to be it oh, just yeah. seems ridiculous i did see like, that trailer I, Why it just is seems that? ridiculous with the with the it has nothing to do with her being a woman okay <laughs> it has nothing to do with that it's just the premise it has to do of, with her cyborg arm of a, <laughs> of, a, of, a of a wise cracking woman character in non-authentic clothing with a with a prosthetic arm saving you it's just silly it's just silly like because she's a woman right nas say yes, it <laughs> yeah. Woman, yeah yeah of yeah. course yeah but it's, it's if just, it was it's if it was a man not. in uh, non-authentic clothing with a cyborg arm, you'd be totally fine, right? Exactly. I would hope that he would have two cyborg legs too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just, it's just. I mean, what I want from Battlefield is not a realistic experience. I want an authentic experience, right? And I feel like Battlefield has somewhat given an authentic. Uh, experience you know battlefield 3 battlefield 4 of what i played i haven't really played battlefield 1 much but it, it seemed okay-ish uh but this just seems ridiculous between the like you know throwing grenades and shooting it in the air to blow up a plane and then you know the prosthetic arm and the outfits and the tanks and it's just it was too busy it's too crazy it's ridiculous and too fast paced has battlefield yeah. gone too far to call of duty yeah, I mean, I'm honestly surprised that they the character didn't throw the grenade, blow up the plane, and then the trailer just went, <gasps> you know, like that, yeah, or something like that. You know, it's just it's silly. The the game, I mean, if that's the game that they want to make, 
that is fine. But it's also fine for me to not like the game that they want to make. I'm not going to say that they shouldn't have. I'm just going to say that it is not the experience that I want to have from a Battlefield game. So, yeah. it's okay. just, it was silly. It was Are you much silly. of a Battlefield player, RDT? Uh, yeah, I played, but only recently. Like, I only recently got into Battlefield 4. Uh, I did get Battlefield 1. I really liked it, even though it's not really the same as the other Battlefield games. Um, but yeah, I thought, I, thought it was, I, thought it was, I thought it I thought it was good. You know, I don't think think they should go the direction of Call of Duty with their games. Um, it does, like I said, look a little bit too fast paced, a little bit too actiony, uh, especially considering it's World War Two. People aren't just going to be why why quick scoping ladder 360 quick scoping people uh and one one handing an m60 or whatever he had to yeah, crawling on, on crawling on your back plane, the mud. The <laughs> yeah it's silly so you know then i'm, I'm assuming that there are going to be microtransactions up the wazoo yeah for uh, new outfits and prosthetic arms <laughs> prosthetic arms <laughs> you buy new prosthetic arms with your battlefield buffs Have a, a chrome know. pink prosthetic arm with put a, flowers put a on it sweet camo yes what, what, what they've not told you yet is the prosthetic arms actually a consumable item so you do actually have to buy them oh yeah you, oh, you, oh, you, can, yeah. you can lose it <laughs> <laughs> oh man Four uh, minutes. thank you you play battlefield 1943 isn't it backwards compatible now yeah i might have to get it oh wake island yes mm, wake island what Wake Island is a map. It's a map. Okay. Well, we, okay. So we talked about the game. What do we think about the people's reaction to it? Oh, they're silly. I mean, it just the the incel community. They were they really liked it, uh, didn't they? They just they were really happy about the woman just. Oh being my there. god, the incel community. What, what that is that? Is a topic. Involuntarily uh, celibate men. Have you not been educated on this? Oh, involuntarily. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. This idea. is the first I've heard. They are a subset of the internet who believe that they are owed sex because they're good guys or because they're smart or whatever. And but they not. hate I women. Th I think they just think they're owed it just because that they are a man. I don't think it's because of any qualities they have. Just yeah, the fact probably. That they, they, just the fact that they exist as a man, they deserve it. So Yeah, they're like, it's natural. Uh, well, and you can tell that they don't deserve it because they complain all the time, and they've obviously never tried or talked to a woman. And uh... seize the means of reproduction. That's <laughs> <laughs> what we need to do. We need to seize the means. In of reproduction. Involuntarily celibate, involuntarily insofar as they are dicks, and no women would ever want to look at them. Is that how? Yes. That yeah. Yeah. Which I'm so, I'm so looking forward to the comments. Oh <laughs> boy, so <laughs> looking forward to them. Yeah, it be good. It's gonna be, it's pretty ironic coming from three incels to be talking about <laughs> incels. <laughs> I want to see that comment now. <laughs> the comment feedback segment in episode thirty two will be like the the length of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, it'll be excellent. Oh uh, boy! If, if you in the comments think that you are owed women just because of the fact you were a man, please tell us why. I'm <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> I'm very interested. Don't ask questions like that. You'll just spark even more of a no. No, no that's what? great. Mm. Anyway, um, <laughs> why don't we just get them all out while we do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually yeah. a test. Anybody commenting? <laughs> yeah, that's, man. that's the yeah. I think it's it stupid. The whole the whole backlash over it is just. It's... Backlash is stupid. The direction they're going with the game is stupid. Everything is stupid. We're stupid. I'm stupid. Let's move on. Yeah, that's that will be the title of this podcast. Is humans, is, humans are, are dumb. dumb. Yeah. And humans are stupid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and this is why. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I did have a, a little note about uh, a potential bit of gaming news that the Switch is continuing to be incredibly successful and. New Pokemon games are coming out for the Switch and stuff like that. But <clears throat> I just, Fortnite's I wish... coming out on the Switch. Of course is it really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fortnite no, coming to Game Boy. Time, game Boy Color. Get your get your Fortnite Game Boy Color. Fortnite are everywhere. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I, I wonder I if it'll be cross compatible. Nintendo. 
I feel like probably the the switch is something that I don't know. I, if it seems like a great idea. And I want to get one, like I said. Yeah, I do want one, but I don't think I want one enough to buy one. I just uh, got you, a fifty dollars gift card. You got this choking buy. hazard podcast money. You can just go get one, right? <laughs> I mean. Just go the buy choking it. incels podcast. Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Incels uh, wish that they would get choked. Okay, that's their whole. That's their whole thing. Ooh, so. ooh, getting spicy, nos. Yeah. Anyway. Spicy, nos. So, so is the, is the switch a good system? Is it is it good? I've, I've heard it's good. Uh, I've played. My cousin has one, and I played. I think like Sonic Mania, and it was kind of fun. But he made me use. Since we were playing two player, he made me use like the little thing, and I was like, "This is terrible. This uh, is the worst thing I've ever used." <laughs> this, this is not. This is not a gaming stuff. peripheral. This is bad. No, this yeah. The problem, you, the problem I had the the controllers are just. Oh, so you can tiny. get like the pro controller or whatever. This just normal controller, right? Yeah, you. Well, you slip the two Joy Cons. I think that's what they call them. Yeah, yeah, I know um, about that, but there is a controller you can have. Is too. there? Yeah. yeah. Think so. not, how do how do I know more than... about a Nintendo system than you do? I, I don't. It's not better than this baby though. This oh man, the Xbox controller is the best controller. Okay, they make the greatest <laughs> controllers. Oh, They're amazing. Yeah. I, I disagree. That, keyboard I I best best thing. controller. Oh. Keyboard best controller. So many keys, more keys. I have the most keys. I have the best keys. I, I agree that the Xbox controller letters. is the best controller. It's the the only can, the only letters that I need are A X B and Y. Okay. <laughs> so I'm saying I don't need an entire board full of them. Wrong, sad. Okay, build. Okay, build but, up the means of production. Um, what? To bring it back to the Switch. <laughs> I would What's like to get one. I just I don't know whether it's aimed at me. Like you, you only want to get one just because they announced the Pokemon games, and you're all like, mm, Pokemon. Well, for a long time, I've kind of felt like I've been missing out on Zelda and Super Mario because those games are meant to be incredible. Like, are they yeah, really as good it. as what people are saying they are on the Switch? And obviously, a Pokemon game coming on the Switch is a, a, a benefit as well, which I would enjoy. But it's just. I hear that. Zelda Breath of the Wild it's is good. Yeah, it's, the it's like, Dark Knight of Zelda games. Dark Knight? Dark Souls. What the, what the <laughs> shit, bro? Everything's the Dark Souls and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dark... No. yeah. Maybe. Anyway. Yeah, I, I want to get Switch. I, Mario Galaxy is fun. Uh, that's, the, that's the name of it, right? So Mario Galaxy. Oh, yeah. Jesus! <laughs> what is wrong with me? I had one PBR and now I'm loopy. What the hell? <laughs> I also went to bed at like four in the morning. So yeah. this has that been one of those sense. podcasts where none of us have been prepared really, and and we're just yeah. Well, I was okay. We I was driving home. Life. I got I got back at twelve, and I was like, I have a podcast to do, and I don't want to be alive right now. <laughs> so uh, I want them to so. kind of get rid of the three DS completely and just focus on the Switch entirely, and just Does make anyone it... even own a DS anymore. I bought one and I've already used it, and, and I'm. I kind bought of regretting a, I it. had a DS given to me for Christmas one year, and I think we traded it back into GameStop within three months because yeah. the Animal Crossing got old and none of the other games appealed to me on the platform. So. Yeah. I I see the appeal to the Switch to be able to play games, in different, places. Like you know, I I feel like I don't have time to play a lot of games and just be able to play them in various different locations on a switch is appealing but then when you look at the other option of the, the switch is so underpowered in comparison to a pc or a ps4 or an X, even an xbox like i would have rather just play the game of better quality it's it's one of those i guess you got to get buy it for the exclusives really yeah oh yeah, yeah i'm yeah. I, I I love the idea of portable gaming. I I love like oh that that'd be really good to sort of like ah. some time with. I do a lot of traveling for for work and whatnot. It'd be really handy for that. But like I had I bought a PS Vita and I think I've used it like twice because I I end up playing it and then just like after about an hour I come away and my hands are all cramped from using it and like mm. going like T Rex claws and everything. It's like <laughs> yeah. nah fuck it I can't be bothered with this. Yeah. 
I mean, does an Xbox, a PS4 computer come with cardboard that you can buy as an accessory? Yeah, it does. Just um, saying. The Switch does have the cardboard stuff. That is, that you can is buy a, the that Labo. Is a, you that can is make a big a selling piano. point. That's a great Out selling point. I, but I have a piano already. I don't <laughs> need cardboard. <laughs> but is it made out of cardboard? No, but it... But card- Boom. There you go. <laughs> you You're got a wasteful, me. I got you. <laughs> you're a wasteful sack of shit. Cardboard is recyclable. Okay. God. Got him. Let's go. Next topic. <laughs> well, Hoop, like Hoopo just said Trous. So that's it. Hoopo just huh? said Trous Fusion is free on PS Plus this month. I recommend people get that if you have PS Plus. Trous Fusion. Good there. game. Good game. I'm top 100 in the world in the triathlon uh, game wow. mode. Yeah. Wow. Is wow. That, is that all wow. about is that like wow. out of the hundred people who played the game on Xbox? It's actually out of the, <laughs> got the millions nice and billions. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're jumping on this train with me. I'm hating on the Xbox. I'll load it up right now, bitches. I'll, I'll check to see how many people <laughs> are playing that game. I swear to God. I'm not I'm not. I'm doing it. <laughs> you actually are gonna load it up and find out how many people <laughs> Oh no! I don't think I have it installed right now. Oh, this podcast is going on for an extra two hours. Is that because you didn't have enough space on the Xbox hard drive to keep it installed? No, that's not why. I have an external hard drive. Thank you very much. Oh, and a yeah, terabyte yeah. and a terabyte. I have two terabytes extra and a terabyte in the Xbox. Oh man! The, the thing is, You're I sick don't... people. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> I want the Xbox to do well, though. Like, I like the Xbox. I like the Xbox controller much more than the PS4 controller. I, I don't mind the Xbox whole ecosystem and Xbox Live yeah. and stuff. But Screw you guys. It is installed. You can eat it. <laughs> they just. They, I just wish they had some actual compelling exclusives and actually made people want to buy their consoles in the same way that Sony and Mike Nintendo do. Because at the minute, there's no... Anyway, let's not go down this... Yeah, we're not going down that road again. again. We've already been down that road. It's um, sad. E three. Anyone excited for E three? I don't care. No, I'm not excited. Percy, I, I, I don't. I don't like making predictions. They just seem so pointless. I always get. Know. I've learned my lesson. I got excited for E three in maybe like two or three years in a row, a few years back, and I think it was last year that I actually watched uh, the, one of the E three press conferences on stream. So I like sort of live streamed it and was just chatting with the chat about it and that was last year right that was last year i think and it was yeah, so boring dude. the sea of thieves trailer 4k oh, it was 4K, 4k 4k vr vr <laughs> vr 4k vr the VR. sea of thieves it trailer was... went on for six hours it, it was, was the sea of thieves crazy. trailer it was that press conference that we watched and it was on for we so were like, long we were like holy shit this is the worst thing ever it what was, is going on we watched the xbox one trailer because we were, i was waiting for information about the xbox one x and i don't think they even said anything it was like right at the end or whatever and then the games all the trailers that they had were just annoying and oh my god so it's the 9th through the 12th huh but yeah, I just I've lost all excitement for E3 from that point on. That was a low moment, watching that. And I'm just I'm just so unenthused about E3. I'm gonna read what the main stories are about it. But even in the past, when I've been excited about a lot of games that all get hyped up when E3 comes around, I never end up buying them, or they turn out to be a much worse than whatever whatever yeah. it turns out to be. So. Yeah, the Forza, the Forza Motorsport. Was it Forza Motorsport, I think? Oh, my God. 700 cars, dynamic weather, 4K, HDR. (laughs) Yeah. And they were like, and now we're going to reveal the car that's going to be on the cover. (laughs) It's a a a Porsche. Yeah. Uh, Watch as it rises from the ground. Trials update. It was a Porsche that looked exactly like all the other Porsches that have ever existed. And funnily enough, Forza 7 was like all the other Forzas that have ever existed. But this time we had expensive microtransactions and loot boxes in there. (laughs) Uh, So, trials update. I am 86th out of 948,031. Wow, Wow, I'm impressed. Wow. 948,000. And 31. And 31. Oh, don't forget the 31. Sorry. Don't forget the 31. I'm better than those people, too. Wow, well done. 
Congratulations. In the world. Good job. Okay, I used to be number one in the world, okay, for a gang hideout on Red Dead Redemption. Number one in the entire world on 360. So don't talk to me about your leaderboard, okay? I'm, I'm 20th in the U.S. Right. Wow. Now, now to turn that off. Thanks, thanks for ruining Dude, doodles, my, my We need life. Doodle here to just, just take a poo all over all your <laughs> yeah. positions. Yeah. Doodle be like, I'm, oh, I'm number one on every track in Gran Turismo Sport, actually. In, in, <laughs> no, in every single uh, racing game that has ever existed, including Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Hoopo, Hoopo had, uh, as he said in the chat, tickets to E3 this year, but he's ended up donating them away. And I, I feel like it would be more of a... More fun to go to E3 than it would be watching all the press conferences. But for us, yeah, they're always... I feel always... like E3 might be a little more of a professional environment than, like, going to some con or something. Yeah. Maybe there'd be... Because there'd be, you got to be somebody or at least have a little bit of money to go to E3. So that kind of, you know, weeds out all the sweaty nerds. <laughs> uh, and then you just have nerds there. So it's it's not that bad. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't mind going to E3. It wouldn't be wouldn't be too bad. Uh, but like yeah, the, the worst thing is that all the press conferences are like really late at night for in the UK. So I remember yeah. for the stream last year, we stayed up. I stayed up late to watch it, and it was just so not worth it. And it was dragging on. I was falling asleep, and it's the same thing all the time. So yeah, the press conferences what, what leave a lot guys, to be desired. What do you guys think about uh, <clears throat> Sony's tactic this year of uh, managing expectations by uh, publishing all of the games that they're going to talk about in their press conference beforehand smart move yeah I, th I think it's definitely a smart move because now people can't be like oh well i was expecting to see red dead redemption 2 yeah exactly where you're going <laughs> <laughs> and now everyone's just like all right cool I, and i'm sure there's still people complaining like well what about this like well bitch we're not talking about it yeah so. but the thing is they always get leaked anyway Every single E3, yeah. there's always leaks of the games that people are going to be talking. So might as well just get ahead of it and say it themselves. Mm. I just want to see what the what's going to happen for the next the next iteration of consoles. To be honest, that's what I'm most when 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 there's an E3 where they're going to talk about whatever the next consoles will be. Then I'm going to might be interested in watching. I'll, I'll save you time. Now every system supports 4K <laughs> gameplay. 4K gameplay. Okay. That you, now we have 1K, now we have 4, okay? 1 to 4. <laughs> and by 2030, and by 2030, we'll have backwards compatibility. <laughs> yeah. so. No, then, then we'll be rendering games at 8K. 8K, <laughs> 40 frames per second. <laughs> That's what we'll be doing. Uh, um, you know, how, how, much better, how much better can things get, honestly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the point where you don't notice a difference. They're just like, oh, wow, I noticed... I don't price. know. I mean, in terms of, I think there's still a leap to be done between these very high graphical games that you have where you're restricted to set pieces, right? And then mm -hmm. big open worlds. Once we have the big open worlds looking just as good in every situation as these small uh, set piece games, then I think we'll be there. Like, for instance, I don't want to talk about it because I haven't finished watching the playthrough of it, but uh, Detroit Become Human, I would say mm. even though David Cage is a ridiculous man who cannot write a game to save his life and the whole game is garbage, <laughs> uh, it does look very good. It is a very good-looking game, in my opinion. And once we have that level of graphical fidelity across a large open world, I think then we will be there. Right. I think The I limit think of what games there. can do. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Speaking um, of terrible, terrible writing and stories, I woke up this morning in my buddy's apartment and he came out and he was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, yeah, we're feeling not great. He turned on the TV and he's like, let's watch Saw 4. I'm like, no, I don't. And so we did. We watched <laughs> Saw 4 this morning. Why? And I, it, terrible. I don't know. <laughs> I was seeing the worst things in the entire world that I've ever seen. And I was like, it's 10 in the morning. I just woke up. Why is this my breakfast? I don't want to see a dude. <laughs> get his head crushed by two giant ice blocks at 10 30 this isn't my this isn't what i want to do it was terrible okay but thanks for thanks for the, the info anecdote. on that i mean yeah. just thought i, nice just thought I let you know there. <laughs> speaking of anecdotes of real life stuff oh 
Look at that. That was good. Oh, that was not bad. Mm. Uh, I wasn't going to actually mention this, but MB Hammer brought it up before the, the stream. I uh, want to hear the about podcast, it. So I, I, I guess I should mention that on Thursday uh, last week, I, I went to take my odds test, as it's called, and uh, that to get my racing license. Uh, hey. Passed it, so all is good. Did you get nice. bronze, or did you replay it until you got gold? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to make that joke. There was quite a God. few of those on Twitter when I said that. <laughs> yeah, I had to steal them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. So, yeah, it was, it was quite fun just to do it, I think. Like, the experience of going and doing that sort of exam was so different to anything else. It was, like, kind of sitting an exam on something that I was actually genuinely interested in. And having a practical portion of driving a car on a racing circuit and having to you drive it well mini, to be right? able to pass a test, like, that's pretty cool. Well, you you were just, in a Mini Cooper, right? It was in a Mini, mini. yeah. Uh, and I had the entirety of the Croft racing circuit to myself. There was nobody else there. It was just me, and I was the only person so you, on the you track. You could go as fast as you wanted to? I actually went I slower than what I did in the uh, Ferrari. Like, I, I didn't... Huh. The, the instructor was saying, you know, it, it wasn't necessary. I wasn't needing to. Wait, are you telling me that you traveled around the circuit slower in a Mini Cooper than you did a Ferrari? Well, <laughs> I know that's <laughs> obvious, hmm. but I, I, I like, I, I didn't. I, I understand sort of, what you mean. Yeah, I didn't need I to push it as out. much. Yeah. Um, but the written test you, uh... that was interesting. Was the I written what? test? Dude, what are some of the questions? Uh, any of the questions. Well, the first the first segment was about all the flags, so you have to know all the flag signals, uh, the colours of the flags, and also whether they would be waved or stationary given the situation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't see colour, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you needed to know that a red, uh, a red and yellow striped flag that's stationary means that there's a slippery surface coming up soon and a red and green striped flag that's being waved means there's a slippery surface right there so like you need to know those distinctions you need to know all the different colors of the flags and you can't get a single one of those wrong if you do the entire test is failed completely um, wow wow ripped. so you have to get all those right there's about 15 of them i think it was 15 different situations uh and then the next bit was safety and those are just so ridiculously easy those questions <laughs> Uh, they're, they're they're all common sense related. There and... is there is a car on your inside. Should you turn into your inside? Yes or no? Yeah, well, they're, they're all multiple choice as well. But all of the other options apart from the correct one are just ridiculous. Like, wow. <laughs> you've got involved in an accident. What do you do? And there's answers like, get out get the out car and yelling. wave at the other drivers, or uh, <laughs> get on your get on the phone and call your friend and tell him what happened, or something like that. That's li- that, th- yeah, those were literally the, the level of the answers. Get the center that... of the track, get on your knees and praise Jesus yeah. that you're still alive. Like, and then there'd be one Hamilton. of th- then there'd be one of the options that said uh, pull over safely to a safe place and await for assistance. And it's like, well, that's obviously <laughs> the right answer. Like, <laughs> so those the safety Bruh. questions were really easy. Um, Bro, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> I was just racing in Monaco and I crashed. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw it. I was watching it live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Jesus. yeah and then the last part was sort of general motorsport knowledge which were a little bit more difficult but you were able to get a few of those wrong um sort of what is understeer what's heel and toe uh technique all that kind of stuff and you were able to get three out of the eight questions there wrong and still pass whereas all the others you have to get everything right um but yeah it was you know interesting it was fun doing out doing the laps and, and driving the car and taking the test and getting past I've got my. I will have in my hands, I guess, soon my racing license. So it's so pretty you cool. Actually, get a license, like yeah, a proper I actually license, get a, a proper card license with my photo on and everything. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Did everybody in the chat for the GGs. To see your ID, you better be handing them that. Like, did you know I'm a racing driver? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be ideal. Um. But yeah, it will be it will be the topic of episode three of the real life racing series, where where I'll go into the whole process in you know more detail and stuff. Well, I'm excited. Good stuff. Thank you for you. Congratulations, Thank my you. man. Thank I'm you. actually looking into getting my motorcycle endorsement on my license. Oh yeah. So, 
Yeah. You're gonna don't 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 race motorcycles. Don't don't drive motorcycles, please. They're dangerous and we want to keep you on the podcast. Shut up, Dad. All right, <laughs> let him do let him do what he wants to do. Whatever, nerd. <laughs> yeah. Bite my dust. Tell that to Friendly Baron. Friendly Baron's L- more of a man listen, than idiot. Listen, listen, Nos. Just because you've got a bit of fluff on your chin doesn't mean really <laughs> I will find you. Do you understand? And and yeah, that's it. That's all he would do. He'll find you, and then that's it. <laughs> I will find you. I Next episode of the podcast, I'm just you. in in full leathers, just with a tattoo, and just <laughs> yeah, chilling. Did your insurance go up after you got your racing license? I haven't. I don't think it's something that you necessarily have to declare on your insurance. To be honest, I don't think it's got I mean, any relevance. Wouldn't it go down? I mean, I mean, theoretically, yeah. If you're, you're considering a racing license, means you are a higher level driver than just you know. I would have thought some moron. Well, maybe not. Anyway, let's open the phone bank. Speaking of morons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is that too bad of a segue that's that one good, good, good way to start it yeah that's, yeah. that's perfect <laughs> um well, it's over the phone bank been on it just insult everybody today. <laughs> i know i've been in been form. in that i don't know it's been that weird sort of chill out mood and then i've just been you know <laughs> roasting things I don't, i'm not usually in this kind of mood so but i like Boom. i like this bruff this bruff is much better <laughs> Boy, <laughs> <laughs> uh, phone bank, your mom's basement. Phone bank is open if anybody wants to get in there for any questions for any of us based on the topics that we've been talking about, based on anything at all. Questions for me, questions for all of us, questions for NOS, questions for RDT, whatever questions you want. For all of us, they're actually just for bruv. I got a question for all of you. Uh, so what's Ruffy. it like having a racing license? <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. You can't, you can't sit there and say that. The last, the last podcast we had a question that was just for you. So don't, that is don't true. That's true. Look, I'm gonna need a couple more for me to stop complaining. <laughs> all right. Yes, Kanji's right. It's Nos's fault. He's spreading all the salt. That's how it is. I, I, I take the blame. That's. <laughs> Um, so normally at this point we do our gaming news segment, but that was pretty much the entirety of the episode. So uh, we'll move on to the previous episode follow up. Which oh, I shit. I really enjoyed the previous episode. I've got to say, I know well, during I really that episode I said it was my my, fa- per, my favorite episode was the anniversary episode, but last episode was fantastic. Oh yeah, we had the we had the the Bosky J guy on right. What a guy. what a guy, what a yeah. guy. He he's lived Imagine. so many lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he made us all Jeez. look bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, he really did make me feel unaccomplished in my entire life. He was like, yeah, I've been in the, the military, the Air Force, for 11 years. Uh, I have my own skateboard company. Uh, you know, I've been to all these countries. I save people's lives. It's cool. I was yeah. like, Jesus Christ, man. I get on the I train every day and get yelled at but you look you weren't you can't talk you work in the world trade center rdt you need to take a step back for a yeah, real dude. loser okay? it's pretty cool i live in a trailer in alabama you need to step back okay you so, have no idea what is really uh, truly to, being uncool. get to look out on lady liberty every day and just you know <laughs> so it, if 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 like for example i ever want a little trip to new york or something can can I you know come and stay with you so I don't have to spend money on hotels and stuff? Then will you show me around the World Trade Center and things like that? Why why are you, you muted? Oh, you were moved to AFK for some reason. Oh, okay, <laughs> it happens every time now. Uh, can I get you in? Is that like, what you're asking? Can, yeah, can, can, well, I I initially said can you uh, can you can you can I come and stay with you so I don't have to spend money on hotels and can you show me around the World Trade Center? I'll think about it. Okay. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you know, I can't make any promises. I, I probably, I think I have plans for when I'm, whenever you are deciding to come. So oh, when, okay. I, when I come to New York, I'm going to be staying in Brooklyn. Okay. I don't uh, live in Brooklyn. I, I, well, I know, <laughs> okay. but I got a connection. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I got a, I got a cousin Who's up your, here. Let he me live with your cousin. He's, he's oh. very important. He lives in, uh, he lives in uh, Dumbo, you know, over there under the Manhattan Dumbo. bridge, you know? Yeah. Damn. He's got a view of the whole Manhattan okay. skyline from his penthouse uh, apartment. I don't apartment. want to live with him anymore because I'd be paying five thousand dollars a month. <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's wealthy. He's, he's got a little bit of money. I like how people wild. in the chat were saying freeloader Bruffy and couch surfing Bruffy and stuff. 
isn't I'm pretty sure New York is the most expensive place in the US to live or visit or stay or do anything. Uh, LA is probably pretty expensive in parts. I, I've heard that LA is like oh no, San Francisco is second to New York or something like that. New York's friggin' expensive too. Well, that depends what you're talking. Are you talking about average or just like, Manhattan? Like actual, yeah. The city. Like if you get an apartment in downtown Manhattan, you're gonna pay ten thousand dollars a month, but. If you get a place, you know, like a one bedroom in Crown Heights in Brooklyn, you're going to pay like 1200 a month or something like that. It's not that. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I, if I, maybe I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll just, I'll call up Rockstar and I'll Good say, morning, I want to visit your New York offices. You, you'll pay for my flight and all that, right? And, and <laughs> that, that, that's sure to go down well, isn't it? And they'll say they'll say a new phone who did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, have you guys got any ep- follow up on the previous episode? Uh, other than comments, uh, no. other than comments, no. Yeah. All right. Well, we can go to comments. Okay. I never really. I have some ready. Oh, okay, go on. You do first. First comment. I'm just scrolling down from the newest. Uh, this is all caps. <laughs> Baby face, roughly. I grew my first beard when I was six and a half. Now I'm 31 and living in my <laughs> parents' basement, and I still have that beard. What now? <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good. Uh, I still have there. that beard. <laughs> we have uh, our favorite. We have GTA man saying, "I can see why Nas wants to be like Cersei. She's good looking, isn't going to marry her cousin, and is a Twitch partner." <laughs> Keep fighting, though, Nas. Unlike yourself, we believe in you. And with we, I mean the fine people of Twitch who will decline your next partnership application. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I commented on that one because it was so good. Yeah, you just simply said best comment. And, James, <laughs> yeah. and, and this guy, James, says, ouch. That yeah, hurt. <laughs> that was a savage co- comment from GTA, man. <laughs> I uh, I like the comment from from Hazard, who says the anniversary podcast was my favorite episode, but this one knocked it down a place. Boski J is a brilliant guest, and it was genuinely a pleasure to hear hear his tales uh, from, yeah. from what appears to be an epic life. Nos, don't let the haters get at you. My face fluff started coming through <laughs> at the age of ten, <laughs> but it wasn't until my mid twenties that it became something worthwhile, and is now going grey. Unlucky. <laughs> Uh, 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 speaking of uh, Mr. Yeah. Benjamin King, he says simply "liberal cucks." So, oh, I love. I commented on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I said bunch of soy boys. These guys, <laughs> 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 and he, I think he thumbed it up. He was like, "Yeah, I agree." <laughs> Not realizing that you're one of them. No, I no, I actually thumbed that up. That was me. oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, God. Let's see, I think there was one more. Um, oh, he looks like he painted it on with brown crayon. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I and love then it. there was... Uh, let's see here. And then someone stole my comment that I made, and he said, to be honest, a seven-year-old could grow a better beard. Yeah, <laughs> that, just, that, that one had to stuff. exist. Did you have any RDT? No, 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 no. I did. Thank you, Nas, for bringing up the liberal cucks one because I forgot about that. That was my <laughs> favorite. That was great. Oh man, just because because of the ninja? No, it wasn't ninja. It was the phase dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Was, he didn't drop the hard ninja. He he dropped the the hard uh, the hard trash panda. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that he did. <laughs> um, do we have the counts for for the comments? Because yeah, it was Phil unlucky, was the word, wasn't it? Indeed. Phil has done his homework. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. Phil. So, pleased to say we had the, the best ratio of uh, of uh, mentions to comments. Uh, mm. So that's good. Mm. Just keep that in mind when you've got your guesses. Okay. So we had we had less comments than usual, but it was a good ratio. So I, I have a number in my mind already in. for this. Eighty-two. Hmm. I'm gonna say forty-two. Forty-two. What do you say, hmm. bro? That was close to where I was thinking, but I'm. I, I was initially. Mm, see, now that you've said forty-two, I kind of want to go a little bit higher, just to, you know. 
I'm gonna say forty-eight. Right, forty-eight. Son of a bitch. <laughs> what well, what were the bids again? For forty-two and forty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Forty-nine. Well, no. 49. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 49. My initial thought was around the 40s, and I was going to say 45 before IDT said 42, but I, I, it felt like, as I was reading through the comments and stuff, that there were quite a few people who said unlucky in their comment this time. <laughs> Jeremiah, just one. Just so, a single person. <laughs> yeah. This week's this week's winner is... Nos! Congratulations, hey! what? Nos! The answer, the answer was 52. 52? Wow, wow. wow, we broke 50. Shit. I didn't think we would have wow. broken 50. That's GG. Ratio. GG everybody who listened to the end on the last episode and actually brought the word. Yeah. Or just wow. watch this live and then pick go straight yeah, to it when it goes live and, but yeah, you know we appreciate true. you as well. Yeah, considering Good we thing. have like over 150 people watching live. Yeah, we could the, the, all of those people at the end of, could just watch the video. We could just not even watch the video and just type in the comment because they already know what the word is. <clears throat> yeah, unless they forget. Yeah, but whatever. Did anybody okay. in the chat get it right? Anyway. No. R2XDJ said fifty-three, but no one said Damn. fifty-two. You gotta come closest to the actual number that going over, my friend. I'm sorry. Unlucky. <laughs> Price is right, Rose. Yes. Um. How's All the right. phone bank looking? How is the phone bank looking? Well, I've not had time to go and check it. Yet. All right. Well, I you go. You go check it. We'll vamp a little bit more. Are you not doing? All right. Okay. Well, you you do that then. I'll I'll be right back. <laughs> um. The Monaco Grand Prix. Did anybody watch it? Of course. Uh huh. Yeah. Not a sigh. Like it was, just, See, it's so it de it's so demoralizing to my very soul <laughs> that I can say something like that, and I just get that. Formula One is so demoralizing to my very soul. It's just. <sighs> I just so did Daniel Ricardo win? Yes. No? Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, he did. Yeah. Oh. oh, hey, it was a good race. Uh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Great I'm, race. I'm very excited for uh, for, for uh, Formula One. It's a very exciting sport. I'm, <laughs> I'm very happy to have watched the entire race. Because That's the Ricardo only thing won. I knew. The only highlight I saw was him drinking champagne out of a shoe. That's the only thing. <laughs> he, lost his, uh, he lost part of his engine and, and still was able to win the race at going at snail's pace. Excellent. It, just, it, just with the pure power. He probably just turned around smile. and smiled at the rest of the <laughs> Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> I just went off the track. On the same exact line of thinking. Fantastic. Yeah, no, I didn't watch it. Uh, I mean, you, to be fair, you didn't miss much of a race. Like the Monaco Grand Prix is not very exciting, and I, I isn't but, it just one car length wide around the whole track? Yeah, you can't overtake unless you have a significant car advantage. So it just becomes a procession, like. Daniel Cardo was 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers an hour uh, slower on the end at the end of the straights because of this problem that he had with his engine. But nobody could do anything no to overtake him anyway. Yeah. And awesome! Uh, that's that, that's just some great that's some great racing. They were running at the leaders were running at like seven laps, seven seconds per lap slower than what they could have run because they were saving tires. Like oh, you know, it was just. I like I like the Monaco Grand Prix and I like the sort of uh, the nature of the track and and I think it's yeah, an it's exciting pretty. place. I think people get too 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 annoyed by the fact that there's no overtaking. Like everyone expects that there's no overtaking, but it's not really about that. It's 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 different. It's unique, and it's that's okay. I feel, but. Yeah. One of the Man. people I work with on my team actually was in Monaco for the race. Oh, really? Yeah. I would love to so go to Monaco fun. for a Grand Prix. I'm sure you would. Yeah. How about... I've, been to Mo I've been to Monaco, but not for a Grand Prix. It's a lovely, lovely place. Yeah, I'd love to go even without it for the Grand Prix, <clears> to be honest. But it, How about uh, the illustrious career of Danica Patrick coming uh, to a, a full stop... <laughs> We could say what happened. She had a career. Room. She crashed. Yeah, she uh, crashed in crashed her last, on her last race. race. Oh, it's like David Coulthard. Oh yeah, just like Dale Earnhardt. 
<laughs> oh no! No! It's, uh, <laughs> wow. it's been one of those Why? podcasts tonight. No, it's, it's been... no, don't do that. Don't <laughs> do that. It's, it's far too soon. It felt bad saying that. No, <laughs> I no. <laughs> <laughs> I say that. Oh. Chat, 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 chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm upset. <laughs> Jesus. Oh God. <laughs> uh, what's next? What are the questions? <laughs> the, uh, right, moving swiftly on. We we do have two questions. Uh, first of all, I will give you a pre-warning. Galaxy uh, is going to give us a question, and he's more Scottish than I am. So, good luck. <laughs> okay. Hello, Collier on the Choking Hazard podcast. Who's your question for, and what's your question? Good evening. It's Galaxy. Hello, Galaxy. Welcome to the show. Hi. So, um. A long time ago, I used to play a game called X-Wing Alliance. And from that, I had a great experience online. Because I think we all agree it's the community that matters and not so much the game. So, guys, what was your first great community experience playing online? Oh, that's a great, that's a fantastic question. Is... Look at Look at Galaxy with the fantastic question. Um, we have some. We have some. Uh, we have some good uh, Scottish uh, people in, in in our community. We got C Wilson. We got MB Hammer, and now we got Galaxy with a fantastic question. Yeah, like the Scots. The Scots uh, have got great well, accents for me, and great questions and great abilities. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's Scottish. We get it. Okay, <laughs> uh, <laughs> time to answer the man's question. I'm. Com- just, I don't you know, know what to say about this. Um, you say you probably Red Dead Redemption for me. I mean, that was my first online game, and uh, I mean, there's like there's a couple of friends I met on uh, Red Dead Redemption I still know. Um, so you know the the commu- the community could be toxic, but the the community that I was a part of was uh, very good. Um, Battlefield Three as well. The the community of Battlefield Three wasn't too bad. Um, it was fun, yeah. You know, it was really fun. So probably both of those games, mainly Red Dead Redemption, is just you know, so many good times were had on that game. So, RDT, do you have an answer for this? Uh, I mean, I played a lot when I started playing games. It was always like with friends online. Uh, so I, I don't know. Maybe Modern Warfare Two is when I started playing with people that I didn't actually know, but were like playing with people that were online. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Most of my, uh, I guess this would be the the biggest community that I've been a part of so far, as far as gaming goes, Uh, Noto and all that. So I would say that Ah. that's my answer. I, had Ruff doesn't play online video games, so he can't. Ruff doesn't play video games. Yeah, he doesn't play video games. (sighs) He plays he plays GTA as an occupation. Yeah. <laughs> so I I'm just gonna ignore that. Um <laughs> I I when I used to play um Tucker Race Driver three, I think it was. Um my that was like kind of my first foray into online racing and an online community around that because I found this forum that hosted races and that, that was like I wasn't in it for very long and I didn't do many races, but I guess that was my first experience of being with an online community that is organized sort of away from the game itself. Um, but Hattrick, Hattrick.org is my, it is a oh, game. Yeah. I talked about this in, in old videos, uh, the subscriber specials and whatnot, but yeah, Hattrick was the, uh, the game that I, I was hugely involved in that community. Um, I, you know, my, I, that was kind of the amount of involvement that I have with YouTube and Twitch and all this kind of stuff. Now I just had all that energy going into Hattrick, basically. So, yeah, that was that was probably what it was. Text-based Did football answer? manager games. They're a thing of the past now, surely. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going, Hattrick, I think, though. That's where my avatar's from. Good hey. question, Galaxy. Great question. Yeah, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Thank you for your question, Galaxy. Who's next? 
Excellent. Uh, well, we've got somebody. I think he's he's been waiting a little bit of a, a, a while to to be uh, to be waiting. I, I don't know. I don't know if we should bring him in or not. To be honest, he's been waiting for two hours. Bit stalkerish. He has been uh, yeah. waiting in the phone bank for two hours. Wait, uh, Mister Major Copyright. Hello, Colin. You're on the Choking Hazard podcast. Uh, you're making us feel uncomfortable. Who's <laughs> question for and what's your question? I had that effect on people. Uh, so. Mainly women, I, I imagine. Oh! oh. Uh, the bands oh. tonight. This is a viewer. This is a. a this is be. This is beyond. Look, the, get I, out of I here. Would You're never say your anything toes. about anyone else that I wouldn't say about myself. Okay. So, uh, that's why I'm. Uh, that's why I'm saying this. I speak. Sugar-free burn. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Anyway. Oh Assuming that your feelings aren't hurt too much, who is your question for? What is your question? You can't. That's right. I. <laughs> it's for all of you. When you go to watch a sport, whether it be motor sport or some other type of sport, uh, how do you make the decision on who you're going to root, root for, for, either a team or by driver? What is your decision process for choosing who you're going to root for? That is also a very good question, I think. Mm. Geography. Geography. And that's it, pretty much. Oh yeah, racist. They, they can be a complete scumbag, but as long as they're as long as they're your scumbag. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. There's a fight coming up between a Brazilian guy and an American guy next weekend, and I am so rooting for the Brazilian guy because I cannot stand the American guy. What fight but, is that? Uh, Covington versus RDA. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, do you think that if there was an American driver in Formula One, you would uh, and just root for that American driver at oh, the expense absolutely. of everything yes. else? Scott Speed oh, all the way. Yes. Yeah, okay. he is one hundred percent Scott Speed fan. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, that's as long as he's a good person. Like I shouldn't have said just geography, but I mean, to be fair, Eagles fans aren't notoriously nice, and I don't care. You don't like us, and we don't care. Okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> But geography and yeah, so <laughs> I feel like geography plays a tiny part for me. Like I, I really dislike Lewis Hamilton, and and he's British, you know, and and so I, I guess I don't really dislike him, but I, he's I a bit, like him. he's a bit cocky. He's, he's a bit yeah. of a cocky lad. Yeah. yeah. Um. So for me, when I'm watching, say Formula One, I generally watch the the season unfold and i decide who i feel was deserving of it the most based on the races and then i'll root for them in the last few races based on who i think deserves it so i don't really have an allegiance to a team or a driver i mean i like ricardo because he's just a nice guy and you can't not like daniel ricardo um exactly exactly beyond that I don't really have an affiliation to teams or things like that in most ways, to be honest. So, yeah. Nos? For, for me, it's probably the uh, their attitude, I guess. You know, just, just how they interact in interviews and, and everything like that. You know, they're, they're scumbag. I don't like you. If you're a cool guy, you know, that's that's cool. I'll probably be a fan of you, you know. Cool, so, dude. Unless it's nah. college football, in which I am forced to be an Alabama Crimson Tide fan uh, <laughs> for fear of uh, punishment. So, Nas is cool, dudes. Yeah, you kind of have to. It's in the laws. I think yeah, it's in it's the Constitution. In the laws down here. Um, you can be an Auburn fan, but that's Roll a little time. dangerous. It's a little dangerous. Um, it's, it's not as dangerous as being like a like a, a, a Tennessee fan or something. Um, yeah, no, but no. it's still a little dangerous. You don't want to make that mistake. Pointy Dor says in the chat, Bruffy is a bandwagoner confirmed. I'm not a bandwagoner. <laughs> I don't root for the team or driver that's doing the best and is most likely to win. I root for the driver that I feel is deserving of it the most. I've got to say oftentimes, that's the most usually... answer you could possibly give, by the way. Is say that again? not just... That's the most bruffy answer you could give. <laughs> like, that's just so... Yeah. Like, well, I take all of the facts <laughs> and I compile every one of the race results into a, into a sheet. <laughs> And then using mathematics, I determine who is most deserving of the win, and then I cheer for them. Like, <laughs> I think they should all get trophies, <laughs> except Lewis Hamilton. 
Except Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree. No, I don't even dislike Lewis Hamilton. I don't know enough about him to dislike him. I can't make judgments based off of what other people think about somebody. Yeah, that's true. I don't necessarily dislike Lewis Hamilton. I just would prefer any other driver to win instead of him, <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, saying uh, the way the way that I choose, uh, which t- it, this was when I was watching F1. I don't watch F1 anymore c- for obvious reasons. Um, uh, the way that I selected my Formula One team when I was a kid was uh, I would always go with the best looking car. The best looking <laughs> car, yeah. That's a re- that is a reasonable method of deciding car. that. To be honest, yeah. I'd say that I'd say that's why I was a Jeff Gordon fan as a kid. But I think that uh, that might send some messages. I thought that the rainbow car was the uh, best <laughs> car. Ooh. No, no, I don't want to get into any messages like that. I don't want you to you know, dissect that. <laughs> anyway. Good I mean, question, copyright. Pride month, so if, if there is anything you want to <laughs> reveal. <laughs> no, there's, there's nothing. I'll, I'll, stay, I'll stay firmly where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> good question, copyright. Thank you. Yeah, good question. And RDT, it's your time. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. We got a special one here today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know anything about this. Uh, I've never had it before. It is uh, not American. It is not Canadian. It is not English, German, Belgian. It's not Russian. Is it Mexican? It's not Mexican. That was a good good question. Thank you. Thank you for the call in. Who's next? Um, who? It actually hails from France. Uh, one of our co-hosts here is very familiar with this. Uh, Uh-oh. RDT. Did RDT get put into AFK again? Yeah. One of our co-hosts <laughs> is very familiar with this. Uh, if you like, uh, you know, what, what do you call it? What do you call it when you give up on something? Surrendering. That's what it is. <laughs> if you like surrendering, if you like croissant, uh, baguettes. Omelette de fromage. If you like <laughs> Cronenberg, 1664. And uh, if you're Bruffy1322, you might just, uh, ooh, smells like France. It smells like <laughs> surrender and communism because it's not American. Well, let's see how it, let's see how it tastes. I'm really excited. Disappointment. Just kidding. I love the French, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Cronenberg. There you go. Apple juice minute. I did Bruffy's favorite beer. There you go. What made you we're do getting, that? Where did you get that from in the land of the America? <laughs> uh, apparently, it's just always been there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, just, okay. I just never looked for it. <laughs> Cronenberg, aka French toilet water. <laughs> I would, I would say it's it's slightly quaffable. Slightly quaffable. I'm not. Slightly I, I'm, I'm not a fan of it in uh, in bottle, but on draft, it's really nice. Yeah. It's it like, it tastes like uh, all your kind of mass-produced European beers, you know. It's got a bit of a skunkiness to it. Not a bad skunkiness, but like it tastes similar to a Heineken and yeah, even a, uh, you know, something like that. But those pale, pale ales. Yeah, they are all very similar. from comedy to legitimate beer reviews now. Yeah, I don't know why. Reviews. Yeah, this is. <laughs> I didn't like I didn't write it. I got it. I got home two hours ago. I didn't. Well, now it would be like three and a half hours ago. <sighs> Man, I'm not on my. I, I I spent all my comedic timing back back in an hour and a half ago that we started this. <laughs> so, so. Well, that's that's good. You mm. finally had the 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 beer that I choose on those rare. Yeah, I don't know anything about it, so I can't I can't write a script around it. Yeah, like as long as it's slightly it. quaffable, that's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, I'll drink them. I'll drink the six that I bought. Do it. Oh my barracks! I swear to God, if you. Steel Reserve. What he just put in the chat. Uh-huh. I drank. Oh boy, I drank a lot of that in college. It is a. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, maybe I'll bring it on and discuss the, how it can burn a hole through your foot. If you okay, <laughs> that would be a fun just, episode. Yeah, I think like that has a ooh. um, uh, 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 what's it? What's his name? God damn it! I can't think of his name. Your character. 
The I American dude. Ulysses Northcutt. Ulysses, Ulysses Northcutt. Northcutt has like a you... sort of napalm kind of edge to it that you could fit in there with with the beer. <laughs> we'll co-write that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, I'll give you a little preview. I once went into the place I bought it, and I was like, hey, can I get a six-pack of Steel Reserve? Which they came in 16-ounce cans, I think. And the guy in front of it, it was like a poor shop. You know, a lot of people go in there to get, you know, other malt liquors. I, get, I, I go, hey, can I get a six-pack of this? The guy in front of me, this whole black guy, goes, woo Steel Reserve. We call that that liquid crack. I was like, like, oh boy. You're not going to be remembering tonight. I was like, I hope not. (laughs) Oh boy. Wow. Good lord. Okay. I'm looking forward yeah. to that episode of the uh, Upper Juice Minute. I can I can just see this unfolding in my head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I right. can see the man. I can see, I know what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see him. I can see this store. I can see the customers <laughs> in the store. I'll just tell you, the people that were handing me the product were behind bulletproof glass. So. <laughs> see, I, 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 knew that. I knew that. I already knew that before you even said it. Uh, choking hazard podcast choke of the week let's get back onto it let's get through it let's do it so let's have a look at this let's get the screen up there wasn't very many this week guys not very many you need to i I don't know if the, the the collective are getting better at driving or you're just getting lazier at submitting but come on Got to, got to get, get get your clips in. Thank you, Remo. <laughs> your chokes, yes. And the link for those who uh, watch on YouTube, you know, you can submit your submit Ooh. your chokes as well. The link for that's in the description. Um, all right, let's do it. Starting it up now. So well, he's, on, all, he's on a motorcycle, yeah. so he's already choked. Choke he's already, number one. Yeah, he's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. On on that's a stunt race, that motorcycle stunt race that I did once. And then boing. <laughs> Oh, and he's and he's off. So he nah, he, smart he, he did a jump and landed and boinged off the track in a weird way of landing and now he's down into fifth. And now he's down. Does he's he gone do from again? first to fifth. That's it. Doesn't do it again. Nope. Let's okay. skip to the next one. <laughs> Got to get that boost in a Wagner, Wagner. on another stunt race. Why does it always happen? Oh, in going for the curb boost on the outside. Uh, oh, wow, he oh, saved it. Oh. Oh, and oh, then. Oh. Is he going to save no, it? No, he hasn't he's, saved it. No, oh, wait, he lead. might get the. No, he hasn't. He so, had a second chance at she, life. She. She, she is. Oh, that, that was so, Wondersniff, wasn't it? Who was the first one? Oh, Wondersniff. Was it? No, who was it? The Hearts. Oh, yeah, it was Wondersniff. Okay. The, the first one was by Base. Sorry, Wondersniff. <laughs> the first one was by who? <laughs> Base Black Knight. Base Black Knight for the first one, Wonder Sniff for the second one, and then this one is. Okay, this one is from Loopy. There's some Loopy. actual video editing going on here. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't recognize Gran Hearts. Turismo. We're in the uh, Summit Mobile, it seems, the GTR. The start of the chalks. Oh, there's a little bit of a wiggle. He's got a wiggle on. That's more than a wiggle, and he's. Oh, he's loose. Gone from second wall. place chasing down first to now fourth place. On lap four out of twenty-five. Um, but yeah. wait, there's more. Oh. Now we're on lap six. On this outside. is two laps later. He has not learned his lesson. Yeah, that was that was clearly ten second penalty worthy. I agree. That was, <laughs> that was horrendous. Wait, he's back in first place. At lap eighteen out of twenty-five. And now he's had to lose the penalty. And he's dropped down to second. Oh, and <laughs> hits the Wait, pit board trying to go into the pit lane. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Too late to quit. What place did he come in? He finished in third place six seconds behind because of the penalty. Damn. Oh, the penalty... Goodness. The, the cheap penalty right. cost him, so it wasn't even the start choke that lost it for him. It was the cheap penalty, and then... Ooh, well, really, rough. really hitting the sign. Hitting the sign lost him a lot of time. 
coming into the yeah. pit lane. <laughs> he was stationary yeah. for a while. Yeah, that was that was bad. That was not good. Not so Black Knight, Wonder Sniff, our Loopy is one, two, and three. We got the uh, the motorbike bounce choke from the lead. The Wagner going for the curb boosting spin around and almost saving it choke also in the lead and then the GT Sport penalty choke. Everybody who's here can vote in the chat right now. Uh, and we do have a we do have a, a honorary mention uh, which I'm going to play now whilst everybody's voting. Uh, I would put the sound on for this one, by the way. Okay, the sound has been. Anybody listen to Kanye's new album? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. <laughs> so good. So VIP work is currently double money according to this, and he is retrieving the passage package. Who is this? Again, this is bloody squirrel. Bloody squirrel is retrieving the package from VIP work. Oh, he thought about going around back of the helicopter. Yeah, he thought about it. Where is he going? What's he gonna do? Oh, good job. What's he doing? Oh, he's still alive. Oh, I jumped, he's jumped from the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's still alive. You're a little bit ahead, I think. So he oh, gets yeah, the package. This is all going fine so far. This is GTA for our listeners. I know we have listeners now on Spotify or iTunes yes, or... Yes, hello, listeners. Whatever. We do. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, we do, actually. it's Maybe that's why we're getting less views on the videos. That's what I keep telling myself, yeah. anyway. <laughs> oh, here That's we go. Why. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, this is what's happening. So he's trying to get up the... He's trying to get up the, the mountain. I'm going to I'm gonna um, mute it again, because we all heard the, the music, but I'd have to keep talking over it for it to not get the copyright, because I know from previous experience that that music... Gets copyrighted yeah, immediately. Yeah, definitely copy. That's the Benny Hill thing. Yeah. You can't, you can't just, you can't just use that. No. Like, get away with it. We might have to mute this part. Of I have a, I have an old Gears of War video that got, uh, that has that music in that got copyrighted. <laughs> Wait, he literally can't get back up this mountain. Is he? He's going all yeah, the way around it. Painful. There must be a way. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you guys doing this song. <laughs> there we go. He can't, he can't. Now he's, uh, try, now he's giving up. He's trying to, he's trying to the destroy the buzzard. He's trying to call in another buzzard, but it wouldn't work. So now he's trying to destroy it so he can call in another one. And now there it's going to be on a cooldown. There's something surely Yeah, right. there's got to be a cooldown. And I, I bet the cooldown will be longer than the amount of time he has left. <laughs> no, he still can't get it. Yeah, available again in two minutes. Oh, this has not gone well for him. <laughs> now he's having oh, to God. run. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. How was that an honorary mention? That was pretty bad. <laughs> that was pretty bad. For, yeah, that was a that was a bad that was a bad joke. I mean, I guess maybe he still he was still always, able to complete the trouble. mission. So yeah, we didn't see the end oh, of it, but. Listen, I, I always get in trouble if there's other chokes that are legitimate chokes. And uh, Yeah, that's this, true. This we always need to I think. We always This need was to, more entertainment. Yeah. Entertainment it value, was this was very good. As well. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That right, was good so... for entertainment value, but the, the actual chokes for the three chokes have been the best, that's true. Alright. So, so what are the results? What's uh, well? It's it's pretty close. I'll put it that way. But uh, we do have a winner oh. just. All right. Should we give our thoughts so you can include our votes? Yeah. Can do. All right. I. I picked choke three. I found it difficult. Uh, uh, I'm picking choke two. Because you're just biased it... towards Wondersniff, okay? Wondersniff. <laughs> I mean, you're biased. I mean, maybe, but I, my justification is that she had a, a second chance at life. She got spun around. She could have saved it, and she didn't. How many people get second chances and blow? Luffy could have saved it like four times, and he didn't. So yeah, I'm you... gonna go for I'm gonna go for choke three as well. I think it was the biggest choke, <laughs> the best actual choke. 
All right. So in third place was troop number one, the uh, the bike kicking the uh, trampoline the bouncy, stunt piece. Bouncy boy. Yes. Yeah. And our winner. Thank uh, you. Is Wondersniff. Congratulations. Oh, uh, I so called it rigged. I called it from the this called is, it from the jump. This is nothing but a popularity contest, okay? <laughs> we don't even take into account what, it is. Well done. what a real choke is, okay? It's the we greatest choke even... of all time. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so it, it was rigged. it was very close between choke uh two and three. So uh choke Could have been two, a Wondersniff, the winner was thirty six votes and choke three uh loopies one was 31 votes, so it was it's very, so very rigged. close. It's just a popularity contest. There's no <laughs> basis in just... It... <laughs> Not rigged. Okay, she choked, just like Hillary. We all know. It's, it's true. <laughs> Listen, next uh, week, oh, yes. in two weeks' time, no names, about to... blind choke testing is going to be going on. We just play yes. the chalk. You vote for chalk one, two, or three anonymously, and then we'll release whose it was at the end. <laughs> yes, no more names. It's just a popularity <laughs> contest. It's not okay. We didn't even take into account. I mean, to be fair, they were all good chalks. I thought all of them. Like that's. I, I can understand why it was so close. They were all worthy chalks. GG wouldn't sniff. You are terrible. You are horrible. You are the worst racer ever. And you're yeah. the most popular one of our three choke artists today. So, <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at Loopy congratulating Wondersniff. Good on you, Loopy. Loopy, well, you're well. wrong, okay? Don't you dare. You We're deserve all, this. You need to be salty <laughs> with me, okay? Sugar free salt. No, salty free nos. I don't know, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that'll be us done then. Uh, I think so. Heck yes. Thank you guys for all Heck being yeah, here and well, watching us just talk about nonsense again. Oh, we need yeah, a word. Yeah, appreciate it. Rigged. Maybe our word can be rigged. Rigged. Totally not rigged. Totally not rigged. rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> okay, it is rigged. All right. Rigged has Posted to be... You can either... You can choose... It was rigged. You can... Depending on whether you agree or not with number choke two or three existing or being the choke, if you agreed with number two being the choke, then you can say totally not rigged as your comment. And if you agree with number three being the choke, you agree with Nos, then you can say rigged as a comment. And we'll count yeah, it just we we'll count all of them. Like it's not rigged is in there, so it'll be Just 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 making it super complicated for Phil. Rigged or not. Well no. Rigged. rigged rigged is the word because all the comments that have totally not rigged are gonna be having rigged in anyway, so And Phil, you don't have to count the ones that say totally not rigged. No, you just, don't have to separately just... count them. Just... You actually don't have to do it at all. That's you don't true. Have to do this Why anyway. are we even telling <laughs> <laughs> I rigged <All> it. Right. <laughs> oh man! Right. Thank you guys for being here and watching. Do you want to say goodbye, guys? Kanye twenty twenty. No. Stop. Rest in peace, Drake. No. Okay. Sounds like a choice to me, and I'm not going to make that choice. Uh... So just just <laughs> checking, RDT. Did Kanye? Did he employ a seven year old to do his album cover, or? What? What happened? I didn't see it. I, didn't <laughs> I, I just was a classic RDT terrible. deflection. This is where we end the show. This is where we end it. All right, guys, for watching, everybody. See you all later. Goodbye.